If you are a science nerd, you probably know Professor Michio Kaku. For those who don't, he is a theoretical physicist at the City College of New York and a world-renowned science writer. Now, what do you think his take is on 3i Atlas? If you Google him, you'll find tons of AI-generated videos using his voice, saying all sorts of wild stuff. But this time, we actually have an official statement from him on Newsmax. Well, there's a split in the astronomical community. The majority faction says, what's all the fuss about? I mean, it's just a rock from outer space and it's going to come through our solar system for the first time and then come whizzing back out again. Another faction, however, says, now, wait a minute. Perhaps this is a visitor, an intelligent visitor from another solar system. And perhaps this week we could have a test of it. This week, the asteroid or comet will be whizzing around our sun. And if it picks up extra energy on its flyby, that means there's extraterrestrial intelligence involved. So watch for it on October 30th. Starting then, we're going to track it to see whether it gets an extra boost of energy. If so, it means we are being visited. And honestly, if you're not a dogmatist, if you are a genuinely open-minded scientist, this is a healthy take. He keeps both possibilities on the table. But what really stood out to me was how he called it a comet or an asteroid. Let's be clear, mainstream science has been calling it a comet since day one. The official name is C2025N1. The C literally stands for comet. And comets and asteroids are two completely different things. Comets are icy bodies. They have ion tails, dust tails, and that bright vaporizing core. While asteroids are just dead rocks. Yet now, four months later, they are suddenly shifting tone, calling it an asteroid or a rock. In other words, not a normal comet anymore. Does that mean it's a spaceship? Of course not. But it does mean we still don't really know what it is. And that it's absolutely worth investigating its true nature instead of labeling anyone who dares to question the mainstream narrative as a conspiracy theorist. Does this behavior remind you of something back in 2020? You know? the natural versus artificial origin of something else that also starts with a seed.